we finally made it as graduating Berkeley engineers. Being at Cal for four years has taught me a lot. For one, who knew that linear regression can be classified as machine learning? Also, student organizations play a major role in student lives. And most importantly, sliver pizza with corn is way better than sliver pizza with potato. And each semester also has its own little quirks. Remember, four years ago, we held a vigil for a gorilla. And there's also been a lot of ups and downs. But we've come out of it stronger, from burning the candle on both ends to finish a project, to writing code that would make Bill Joy cry, to election protests, wildfires, and now a global pandemic. We've seen a lot while still learning to be engineers. But there are also a lot of good things that have happened these past four years. There's always those lovable puppies auditing our classes in Pimentel Hall. There are those problems at parties that we're having at Crazy Library, turning it up at 11 p.m. And there's those llamas strolling around Memorial Glade, letting us touch them. And through all this, we built new friendships and created a community that's uniquely Berkeley Engineering. And recently, hundreds of us gathered in our finest wear for an ultimate challenge during Engineers Ball to defend the reputation of our majors through a game of Mario Kart. Yes, Mario Kart. And but truly, we're not just engineers, we're Berkeley engineers. We innovate and create a world that never existed. We give back whether mentoring high school students or working at a food bank. And we don't do it alone. We do it together as a community of Berkeley engineers and with that community at large. Even with the stay at home orders and the lack of physical interaction, we've adapted and shown that Berkeley engineering isn't confined to Soda Hall or Jacobs Hall. Berkeley engineering exists within ourselves and with the community that we've forged. Cl classmates are still checking in with each other every day to make sure that they're okay. Clubs are hosting game nights and movie nights to encourage socializing. And GSIs are still hosting office hours while juggling their own coursework and research. And professors are still creating lecture slides while tutoring their own children. And yet, we are still as united as we were on campus. Thank you to all the faculty, staff, broader Berkeley community, and all of those that have helped us get to where we are today. I'm grateful to spend it with y'all. Thank you for the memories and go Bears. I'm honored to be speaking at the celebration of 2020 graduates. Although we didn't envision our graduation looking like this, I'm grateful that we're still able to connect today to celebrate our achievements. I hope all of you and your loved ones are safe and healthy right now. When I visited the Berkeley campus on Cal Day after I was admitted, I remember feeling inspired by the positive atmosphere that surrounded me. Every Berkeley student that I spoke to radiated passion. This is still my favorite part of Berkeley, the opportunity to learn something from every single individual on this campus. People at Berkeley have taught me so many lessons that will help me in my life beyond undergrad. During my time in Berkeley engineering, I have been especially inspired by the women. In high school, some teachers and peers judged me by my gender and not my abilities which led me to almost give up on pursuing engineering. Here at Cal, I've been fortunate to be surrounded by supportive peers and professors and to have found a community with the Society of Women Engineers. Through my experience with this organization, I was able to find my voice and grow as a leader. To my fellow graduates, congratulations. To our families and friends, thank you for supporting us throughout our journey. To the faculty members, Thank you for guiding us and allowing us to explore our curiosity. I hope to see all of you at our in-person commencement ceremony. Although my undergraduate career ends today, I'm happy to say that I'll still be a golden bear and will be pursuing my master's degree in civil engineering at UC Berkeley this coming fall. Thank you and go Bears!